mis amores and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the title, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite highlighters that cost $10 or less. But before we go ahead and jump in, don't forget to subscribe by clicking that red button down below. And also don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sheila. I am so happy to have you guys here with me. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now I do have to say before we go ahead and get started, today has been a hot mess like everything that could go wrong has gone wrong and it's not even like the video itself it's like prepping for the video like I wanted to do this like really nice makeup look and then I use this primer and it messed up my eyeshadow so then I got really overwhelmed so then I started over I was like you know what I wasted so much time I'm gonna go super basic just liner some wings a little bit of color in my crease call it a good day I was like fine that works then I went ahead and started with my foundation and then for some reason everything was not going well like the sponges that I was using applying my foundation super cakey and then I would keep kind of like trying to blend it in and instead of like applying makeup it would take it off anyways it was a disaster <laughs> so this is where we're at very very basic bold lip and I am trying these new lashes which I really really like so far this is the first time I try them but I am really impressed they're the elf and Whaley collab and they're really really nice and really pretty and then on my lips too, I am wearing the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte in the color All Nighter. So I was just going to wear this by itself and of course my lips were just like not having it. And then I decided to go ahead and put the NYX Butter Gloss on top of it in the color Red Velvet. So this is where we're at. <laughs> so a couple days ago or a few days ago, um, somebody from my Spanish channel, one of my subscribers, asked me to go ahead and give her some of my favorite like highlighters that were like from the drugstore, super affordable. And I was like replying to her comment and I'm like hey I already did that video let me go ahead and give you that link and then I was like oh my god I've never done that video and I was like how is it that highlight is like my favorite process of the whole makeup process that I'm like I've never even shared with you guys my favorite highlights like what like how is that even possible so I was really disappointed in myself <laughs> I was like I should have done this video forever ago but I decided it was a good time to do it now and like I mentioned highlight is like my favorite step of the whole makeup process that I own a lot but I kind of wanted to be able to narrow it down so I wanted to go ahead and kind of make it more specific so today I'm going to be sharing with you highlights that cost ten dollars or less in the future, I'll definitely be doing like my top five or top 10 or maybe I'll do my high end next. But today I just kind of wanted to keep it really affordable because I know a lot of us are balling on a budget and these are actually really great quality that I wouldn't want you guys to miss it just because they're drugstore. And as always, be sure to check the description box down below. I'll have the breakdown of all the products I mentioned today with links so you guys can go directly on their website and purchase them. So the first one that I have is from ColourPop in the color Lunch Money. So I really love this highlight. I don't know how to explain the texture I love the texture of Colourpop products like these feel like a cloud like I don't even know if that makes sense but they're so nice and soft but they almost kind of feel wet and creamy and buttery and not powdery whatsoever if you guys own Colourpop products you know what I'm talking about it's just they're so amazing that I don't even know how to describe the texture it is really nice now this is a product that you can definitely apply with a brush I feel like you just have to apply more layers to kind of get that intensity and kind of get that evenness because I feel like not all brushes work with these products but if you use your I was gonna say if you use your pencil oh my god I just can't today <laughs> but if you use your finger it works so much better it just really applies smoothly it melts into the skin and it really gives you that beautiful glow but that kind of wet glow you know what I mean like that wet highlight I really love that and a little bit goes a long way if you use the right makeup tool or if you use your finger like you can really get a good amount of intensity with a little bit of product so I really love this shade it is beautiful so for my next one I was kind of debating whether to include it or not just because it is limited edition so if you guys didn't get your hands on it as of now you can't get your hands on it anymore but I'm like secretly wishing that hopefully in the future they'll either bring this one back or they'll go ahead and release new ones with the same formula because this one's really really great but this is the wet and wild moon tears from the gothographic collection I wish I would have bought another one because it is so good the only thing first of all I do have to say packaging wise I don't like it the sifter is it a sifter or swifter well that thing it's a score and it just releases way too much product as you guys can see it's just way way too much it's messy but with that aside <laughs> the product itself it is oh, 
The product itself is really amazing. So when you first look at it, it looks kind of glittery and kind of chunky glitter. It doesn't look really fine. Like you're like, that is gonna be so noticeable on my skin. It's gonna look like crazy glitter is on my face. So I was a little iffy about it, but oh my God, it's actually really finely milled. And once you apply it, it is amazing. It is like a really intense highlight, like really intense highlight, like a little bit goes a long way. I like intense highlight and for me to say like this is crazy intense highlight is because it's crazy intense highlight. It is really up in your face, but it is so beautiful. Like it is amazing. So maybe we should start a petition so they get on board with us and get this one back. <laughs> This one, I'm sure, is no surprise. I've talked about this one a lot. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlight. I went ahead and showed you my top 10 Essence products. I'll link it up top if you guys want to check it out, but one of the products I mentioned is this one. So this is such a beautiful highlight. It is insane affordable, but what I really love about this one, it's very natural. It's more of a realistic glow. So if you want something that's more natural, more realistic, you don't really know how to use highlight, or you don't want anything that's really in your face or intense, you guys need to try this one out. It is amazing. Amazing. It's very easy to apply, easy to use, easy to blend, and it's just very natural. It gives you that glow from within. So I like to use this one on my more natural days when I don't want anything too crazy, which is not often, but it happens. <laughs> and it just gives it a really nice glow to the skin. And honestly, you don't need that much to get that glow to show, which is amazing. It doesn't even look like you've used it, like, and I've used it a lot more than what you can tell on here because you really don't need a lot, and it is just beautiful. It is such a beautiful glow. Like, I feel like this is the kind of glow I would have used like on my wedding day you know just that kind of like natural glow that people were like oh my gosh she's glowing because she's so happy <laughs> like you know what I mean but this wasn't around when I got married <laughs> this one is a little bit tore up as you guys can tell this is the makeup revolution radiant light highlight so this is probably the first product I tried for them as you guys can see it's pretty beat up and I use it very often that you guys can't see the imprint on this side anymore but I love this highlight so this highlight is more in between natural and intense it's kind of like a happy medium and it works amazing again super easy to apply very pigmented you can use it with your finger or with the brush and it applies amazing and it's really interesting because I feel like when you swatch it on your finger it seems a little bit chalky but when you put it on it's like amazing it is so beautiful this is probably one of my most obviously one of my most used highlights because it just looks so amazing on the skin it's a good medium between natural and extreme it's just right in the middle perfect and it's so affordable too I love it so this one is the Milani Afterglow Strobe Light Insta Glow Powder. Yes. <laughs> so this is one of my most favorite highlights that I've been using recently. I probably had this for about a month and a half two months it's the one I'm wearing right now and it is such a beautiful glow this is another one that doesn't have like this very smooth and buttery texture you can feel a little bit of grittiness not a lot but it's just not like butter you know like other products so I was like Ugh, I'm gonna hate it I'm not gonna love it no I love it it is amazing it just applies so nicely and in person it actually looks a little bit more intense if you guys don't know the way that I apply highlight is I'll go ahead and do all of my makeup then I'll go ahead and apply some setting spray. Usually it's a glow mist from Pixi. And then before my face is completely dry, so it's still a little bit wet, but not 100% dry, I'll go in and apply my highlight just to make it look a little bit more wet and a little bit more intense and just more in your face. That's how I apply highlight. And then I go ahead and just set my face one last time. But with this one, when I first started using it, I did that and oh my God, it was crazy intense. Like super, super intense. I had to like stop doing that. So right now, now, the way that I did it is I actually went ahead and did everything with the highlight and then set my face once because if not this would look even more intense than it does right now but I really love it it's actually super easy to apply it's very pigmented very easy to use don't be fooled by the texture it may not be the best but quality wise it works amazing this has been like my latest obsession again it doesn't even seem like I use it that often but I do because it is great like it is amazing now these are the wet and wild highlighting powders so the two that I have is blossom glow and precious powder so Precious Petals was one of the first highlighting powders that they released. They released this one in something canopy. When I got this one, I really loved it. It's not like the ideal shade for me, but I made it work because it was the lightest shade that they had. So I was able to make it work. Like I said, it wasn't like the best shade for me, but I was like, oh my God. And I really loved it. It's very, very nice, super 
very easy to use, super crazy affordable, and the pigmentation is amazing. So I was really obsessed with this one, and then recently I found out that they had this one, Blossom Glow, which is a little bit pinker, but it's a lot more suitable for my skin tone. So I have been obsessing over this one. It is just so beautiful. A little bit goes a long way. They are a little bit powdery like when you run your brush through it, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal for what you're paying for and what you're getting. It is amazing. And the best part with most of these products is that they have a lot of shades and Wet n Wild is one of those that has a lot of these. You have a lot of more realistic wearable colors and then they also give you those kind of limited edition kind of fun pops of highlight. I honestly feel like anybody could find a highlight through them because they have so much variety that it's amazing. Like so many people could use it. Last but not least, I may or may not be cheating. <laughs> I went on the website to see how much this product costs. It said that it's originally 14 but right now it was 8 but it didn't say it was on sale. So then I don't know if they just dropped down the price permanently or what's going on. I do want to mention that technically as of now it is under $10 but technically it could possibly go back to $14. <laughs> So shop at your own risk. So these are the Sephora Luminizing Drops. I love these drops. They are so amazing. So because I have dry skin, I think it is extremely essential if you guys have dry skin as well to have a liquid highlight. And I feel like liquid highlights are actually kind of hard to find and kind of use. Like some of them are super easy to use. There's some that I've used that are like impossible. But this one I find really nice and easy to use. It does have a dropper which I actually really really like. The way that I apply it is either I put it on the back of my hand, grab it with the sponge and then apply it or just use my finger and it is amazing. I mostly use this on days where I am having like an all liquid, all cream makeup, no powders. I want something more light, not as heavy or drying. I want to be a little bit more luminous. I want my face to look a lot more hydrated and I just strictly keep it to liquids and creams. This is a liquid highlight I will use. It just works incredible. It just blends so nice with everything and sometimes I'll even go ahead and do like a few drops with like a matte foundation if my skin is extra dry or if that foundation just simply doesn't work on my skin because I do have some matte foundations that I can make work with my skin just as is but there's other matte foundations that I really have to kind of modify to be able to wear them and they're expensive foundations like the Urban Decay All Nighter like that's an expensive foundation. So to make it work I always have to add some sort of dewy primer or illuminating primer and one of them is this one it just works so well together it doesn't look as mad on my face it adds a little bit of luminosity in the best way possible without being so overwhelming so if you guys have dry skin I definitely recommend for you guys to try this or even if you don't have dry skin and sometimes you want that extra glow in your foundation or in your skin and you want it to look a little bit more wet and a little bit more radiant definitely try these <laughs> So these were all of my favorite highlights under 10. First of all, please let me know in the comments down below if you have any other recommendations for us of highlights that are under $10. Like I said, highlight is my favorite step of the whole makeup process. So I am always on the hunt for good, affordable highlights. And also be sure to let me know in the comments down below if we share some of the same likes when it comes to these highlights. Woo! That kind of rhyme, no? Share the same likes to some of these highlights. Hey, hey. No, that didn't rhyme. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> and I just quickly wanted to apologize for not uploading three times last week. And I know I uploaded a video yesterday. Like I said, I haven't been feeling like myself. And I just feel not very motivated. And I've been very, like, down. So I'm kind of slowly trying to wet my feet again and record. And of course, today was, like, a disaster. I'm almost like, really? I'm not going to record for the rest of the week. <laughs> But no, but I'm very excited to kind of be slowly getting back into the routine, which brings me to my next point. Usually when I don't upload when I'm supposed to upload, it's because I'm probably for the most part having a fibro flare up. And I feel like it sucks because when you have a chronic pain disease, you don't know when it's going to happen and it just happens and it just throws your flow off. And sometimes I'm sure so many of you guys can relate if you guys suffer from anything that's chronic. Sometimes it hits you out of nowhere and sometimes you recover really quickly 
quickly and then sometimes you don't and sometimes it could take three days five days sometimes weeks and I feel like that's the only thing that I don't like about what I have is that I feel like I can't be consistent on my channel because I just don't know how I'm gonna be doing the reason I'm mentioning that and it's kind of bringing me up to this point is that how can I go about letting you guys know when I'm not gonna upload just because I don't have the community tab on here on YouTube because we haven't reached 10k and I don't know if you guys prefer for me to give you an update on Facebook or give you guys an update on Instagram or give you guys an update on Twitter so if you guys have like some sort of suggestion of where I can kind of give you guys updates if I'm gonna be uploading that day or not because I hate for you guys to be expecting something and I know you're not gonna be able to get it but I also feel like I don't know where to communicate what's going on when I'm not on YouTube. YouTube is my main platform and I feel like this is where I communicate with you guys so I don't know how to go about kind of communicating with you guys that yes you can expect a video or no I'm not going to be posting a video this week or my schedule will be off this week because I don't know how I'm going to be feeling or I just kind of want us to have open communication and I just kind of want to let you guys what's going on so we're all on the same page so basically I would love for you guys to give me suggestions of where is the best way for me to go ahead and communicate that with you guys so that way we all kind of know what's going on with that also being said there are so many videos that I have waiting to record I did go ahead and get the Patrick Star Spring is it Spring Collab? No, Summer Collab. Well, the most recent collab that he released with MAC. I also went ahead and ordered the KKW Beauty and Mario Collab palette. And I also went ahead and ordered her concealer, which I really want to compare to the Kylie Jenner concealer. So there's definitely a lot of things that I'm trying out and I really want to share with you guys, especially the KKW Beauty and Kylie Jenner because I don't really buy anything from there. I, now I'm just rambling. <laughs> but I just wanted to tell you, thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support and hanging out with me and just being here with me. Regardless of how inconsistent or consistent I am, it just makes me happy happy and I am going to be catching up on comments so please keep an eye out for that I am working on that slowly but surely but yeah thank you so much for watching guys I love you so so much and I'll see you on my next video bye